Hey guys, it's Ryan here from Lexus of Edmonton to show you another RX350 all-wheel drive. This particular unit is gray with a light gray interior. It's the ultra premium package, so it's including features such as the clearance and backup sensors, uh, a premium Mark Levison audio system in it, as well as the rear subwoofer and a, a good list of other features that we'll go over as we move along the vehicle. So underneath the hood, it's a 3.5 liter V6 engine, putting out 270 horsepower and 248 pounds of torque, all while maintaining a fuel economy of 10.2 liters per 100 kilometers, and that is a combined rating. So it's sitting on 19 inch rims with Michelin all season tires. The mirrors on this vehicle have the integrated turn signal, blind spot monitoring, as well as the their power adjustable, their power folding, and they're heated as well. The vehicle has doors that are touch to unlock and touch to lock. And we're gonna go inside and take a look at some of the interior features. All right, so there's the, the beep for the unlock, for the touch to unlock. So looking over at the door panel first, you've got the three driver seat, save seat settings here. And then the power windows, power locks, your power mirror control right here and a little compartment for letters, and envelopes, or other things you want to keep there close in reach as well as it's kind of, it's got a little holder right here for a water bottle to go there. Uh, if you look down here you'll notice it's got the lumbar support with the seat settings. Just get inside and shut the door. I'm just going to do a quick overview of some of the more important features of the vehicle. So it's got the, the power trunk there you just press and hold for a couple seconds and the trunk opens all the way up you have the power tilt telescopic steering wheel adjust steering wheel audio controls on the left bluetooth on the right with your call answer and hang up and uh, your voice commands it's a push button start of course so I'll give it a little couple taps here to turn on the lights so we can take a look at the display screen so this display screen is sunken deep into the dashboard so that uh, when you're driving you can keep your eyes mostly on the road and just take a quick glance down to check on it once in a while. So it's more of a, a safety feature uh, than a design feature. It's controlled with the Lexus Remote Touch system which looks like this here. It basically functions like a mouse. You put your hand down like that and you move this top part around and that controls your cursor on the screen. When you get close to a button, it'll snap to the button so that you know it's easy to pick the button you want to press. Moving a little further down the console here, you have some audio controls here, the tuner knob and the volume knob, track selection, that kind of thing. There are also shortcuts to get to the radio control on this display screen. And then you have fan controls down here as well. I'll point out this button here is the uh, heated mirrors. It's also the rear window defrost. And you have driver and passenger temperature settings. The vehicle is equipped with sport mode with tap shift. And we have a couple cup holders here underneath this the dark wood grain, glossy wood grain trim. And then the heating and cooling seats for both the driver and the passenger are located right here. If I open up the armrests, we can take a look inside. This piece slides around, it also pops out if you don't want it in there. And you've got the USB and auxiliary inputs for your stereo down there. And at the very bottom you have the auxiliary power outlet. Over on the passenger side it's a lock and glove box. Passenger door controls and window control. We look up top, the rear view mirror is auto dimming. So at night time it doesn't need any user input, it just it, it knows when the bright lights are there and dims on its own. If we look up here you'll see the sunroof controls, the dome light, as well as a holder for your sunglasses. And then another little thing I will mention is with this, when you open up the mirror the light comes on, close it, the light shuts off. And I'll just come back to the display screen just for a second here and just let you know with the menu button when you press that it, there's a lot of information with the vehicle and a lot of things that you can control through here even though there are fan settings and audio settings down here you have an, uh, a radio settings here you have your map and destination information you have vehicle information vehicle settings uh, phone setup 
and climate control is all all available to be controlled through this screen as well it's kind of a, a multi-purpose most of the things you do with the vehicle you will be doing with this screen uh, one last little thing and I'll show you if you try and look look straight out there where I'm pointing the camera you'll see a little zero and a P just floating in midair and that's coming out of this little component here that's the heads-up display so you've got right in your in your vision uh, just a little bit l below where you would where you should be looking while you're driving you've got a real-time digital uh, speedometer right there as well as it telling you what gear you're in and you can also set it to show you some different information as well if you play with it a little bit but it's a it's a great feature to have it really helps to you know avoid those speeding tickets to have that raid in your face when you're driving so that is another uh, feature that's only with this ultra premium package model uh, as well as one other thing I'll point out too is like the wooden the wooden grain trim around the steering wheel and that it's heated and that's the button down there for the heated steering wheel so that's a main overview of the features of the ultra premium package uh, this is the light gray interior just let you kinda take a look around a little bit there you have it we'll move on to the cargo area now okay so now we're gonna take a look at the rear end of the vehicle and just check out some of the features as well as the space in the cargo area so first thing I'll mention is these vehicles are equipped with a rear windshield wiper and we like to hide them up inside the spoiler so that they're not going to get covered in snow and ice and they're always going to work for you on those cold winter mornings. So with, uh, with the trunk on this ultra premium package, it does have the trunk release here and inside the vehicle and it's powered. So you hold it down for a second, opens all the way up. So now we'll take a look inside. Uh, you'll notice right away it's got the interior cargo cover here. Uh, there's some goodies still in, in the bags here for this vehicle, most notably the uh, carpet floor mats, the rubber ones are already installed, uh, the carpet floor mat for the cargo area back here, as well as a couple leather bound books for the manuals and a cargo net. Uh, the seats in this vehicle are a 40-20-40 split, so you can have them up or down in any combination you want to make, uh, to make it work for you and your passengers and your cargo, whatever kind of setup you have to work with. And they have these little handles on both sides here, when you pull one, the front seats or the back seats will go flat down like that. So it's just to help you avoid having to run around the vehicle just to pull the seats down. So it's just a little convenience feature. So once everything's all loaded up and you're let, ready to close the lid, you can either use the button or pull it down manually. And there you have it, that's the rundown of the cargo area. Alright, so now we're back at the front of the vehicle just to do a quick summary. And I'll show you the, uh, the headlights here. You can see the LED array, the kind of checkmark L pattern. Those are your daytime running lights on this vehicle. And we like to show you those just because they're very, uh, they're very visible, they're very bright, and they're very good design to be noticed when you're out on the road. And it's more or less a safety feature really. You'll notice a little bit lower down is the fog light. And as I mentioned before, it has uh, sensors on the front and the back to help you park and let you know if you're getting too close. And this is the redesigned 2013, the Lexus spindle grille design they have uh, with the chrome trimming around it and the uh, bent in edges. So I'll just go over the engine specs really quick again. It's the 3.5 liter V6, 270 horsepower, 248 torque, and it's getting 10.2 liters per 100 kilometers. It also is running on regular gasoline, not premium. So that's about it that I have to show you for this uh, gray on light gray uh, Lexus RX350 all-wheel drive. This one's one of the ultra premium packages. So if you have any more questions or you want to book a test drive or come and see one in person, please give us a call, come on down, drop in, whatever you got to do. We'd be happy to see you, happy to show you around this car. Uh, once again, my name is Ryan Quick from Lexus of Edmonton. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time.